What's good, everybody? It's your boy, <clears throat> Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The piano tutorial man. Back again with another one, a two, a three. Classic. Yes, indeedy. And you already know who to feed. The name. So, yeah, like I said, man, this is actually a modern day classic. Uh, never heard this song before until I had to learn it just now. Um, pretty decent song. It's not bad at all, actually. It's by a gentleman named uh, George Nazuka. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And I'd like to give a shout out to Miriam. Thank you for sponsoring this tutorial. And it's not a whole lot going on here. It's not too hard. Your intro and your verse and the pre-chorus are all the same chords. So I'm going to show you those chords first. This is how you're going to do those chords. Now, when the song first starts, you just start an octave higher. You know what I'm saying? Then once the verse starts, you just come down here. So I'm just going to show you the chords. And you, you should know when to play them up here or play them down here. I'm just going to show it to you down here. So what you want to do, your first chord is an F major 7, but you want to play F major first. So you want to go and then add the E. I'll show it to you up here because that's how the song starts. So you want to go like that. So you're still going to wind up on an F major chord, but start with um, F major 7. You're going to eventually end on that, but start with F major. So that's F on the left hand, F A C. So you're going to go then add the E separately so okay and then move over to G major G on the left G B D on the right hand then you want to go to E minor 7 but first you want to hit E minor first so you're going to hit E on the left hand E G B then you're going to add the minor 7 by hitting D later. So you'll go, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like that. Boom, boom. And then you're going to go back up to F major 7. And you're going to play F major 7 all the way out the first time. You know, you do it, you're just going to play it all the way out. So that's F on the left hand, F, A, C, E. So what you're doing, I'll play it slowly, is you're going to do this. See, then you do it again. Same thing. And of course, the song is faster. So that's your intro, right? You play that. And once the verse starts and the gentleman starts singing, you play the play it exactly the same way. You just come down an octave. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> okay. Everything is the same. You just come down an octave. So that's how you play the verse. And even when he slides into the pre-chorus, it's still the same thing. So once the verse starts, this is how long you'll play it. You'll just go. That's one time. Sorry about that. Two times. That's three times. times okay so that's the end of the verse then he goes to the pre-chorus playing the same thing one more time okay now after that he goes to the chorus once you go to the chorus he's doing something different he's going to do Okay, so what that is, this is the chorus now. You're still, you're going to play F major 7. You're going to play it straight out. F on the left hand. F, A, C, E on the right hand. 
then you're going to come to D minor 7. That's D on the left, F, A, C on the right hand. Then you're going to go to A minor 7. A on the left, G, C, E. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that. So again, that chorus is... Hold on, where is it? Okay. Mm Three again, same chords. You're gonna do it one more time, same chords, and then when you're coming out of the chorus, this is what you're gonna play. You're gonna go, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still battling a cold, so so again, walking out of that chorus, you're gonna do. D minor 7, D on the left, F, A, C on the right hand. Then you're going to go to E minor 7, E on the left, E, G, B, D on the right hand. Uh, I tried, like, what's the next chord? F major 7 is your next chord. F on the left. F A C E and then you're going to just do this this is like E minor over G also known as a G6 G on the left hand G B E and then all you're going to do with this E is bring it down to D you're going to go just like that to a G major okay so E minor over G to G Okay, so the entire chorus is, sorry about that, I hesitated, one time, second time, here's the third time, then you're going to do your walk to come out of it. Now the very first time when you, after you do the first verse in the first chorus, they do just play this by itself again. This they just play the intro again. They'll just go. Okay, and we already know how to play that. Okay, they just play that. That's just the same thing. I already showed you how to play that, the intro. And then they play the second verse. This when he when he sings the second verse, you just play the same chords you did for the verse. He does the pre-chorus again, same chords. He sings the chorus again. You use the same chords I taught you for the chorus. Now the difference is the second time he sings the chorus, he goes straight into the bridge. Okay, so once the bridge comes up, he switches to key and kind of go over here to like a major key or something. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So. So if you're coming out of the chorus, you have the, um, he's doing, um, and then he'll go just like that. Okay. So those chords, you have A flat major nine. This is the bridge now. A flat on the left, B flat, C, E flat, G on the right hand. to E flat major nine, E flat on the left, G, B flat, D, F on the right hand. And then you're gonna play those same two chords again. A flat major nine, E flat major nine. You play those same two chords again. Then he goes up a whole step and go to B flat major nine, okay? So that's B flat on the left hand, C, D, F, A on your right hand to F major 9, okay, so that's F on the left hand, A, C, E, G on the right hand, then he returns to the A flat major 9, A flat on the left, B flat, C, E flat, G on the right hand, and then he does, this is a F major over G, okay? So F major with a G in the bass, G on the left, F, A, C, 
on the right. Then he takes his right hand and just move it over to G major, which is G, B, D. Left hand stays on G, so he does like that. Okay, and that's the end of the bridge, okay? So with the bridge, again, I'm going to start with the second chorus and go right into the bridge. So here's the second chorus where he's going... gonna really come out the second chorus now get ready for the bridge bridge whole step I, I love these chords right there then back down saying so there's a little pause right there and then he plays the chorus again <laughs> it's like i'm sorry it's now only at the end of the chorus. this is after the bridge this is the only time that they throw two extra chords in the chorus so so far you're playing the same chord you did for the bridge I'm sorry, the same chord you did for the chorus, you're going to go. And then they throw this in there. And then they keep doing. They only do it if you listen to the track towards the end, after he does the bridge when he's in the A flat major, and then he does the B flat. This is after all that and he returns to the bridge, you'll hear this. So those two chords that were added are G minor seven, G on the left, G, B flat, D, F on the right hand, to C seven, C on the left, G, B flat, and E on the right hand. So you're still playing all the same chords you did for the bridge. You're just going to throw these two chords to spice it up. I keep saying bridge. You're still going to play the same chords you played for the chorus before. Just add these two chords to spice it up. So that last time you're playing the chorus is going to be... Here's the extra chords. I feel those extra chords in there. And then you're going to come out of the chorus. And then the way they end the song is they just end the song basically playing the chorus. And then they do it one more time. And then they just end it just like this. Just like that. That's just the beginning of the chorus. So the ending of the song is F major 7, F on the left hand, F A C E. Of course, that spells face on the right hand. D minor 7, D on the left, F A C on the right. A minor 7, A on the left, G C E on the right. It didn't just play those same three chords again. And then the song literally just ends just like that. So it's not a hard song to play. Pretty simple. If you didn't catch everything, just rewind the video and just, you know, look at it again. I do offer chord sheets with my tutorials. So a chord sheet, please don't get, you know, be mistaken. It's not sheet music. It's not even a lead sheet. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a chord sheet. All the chords that I call out, I type them out in a pdf format and in the word document format and i just put little measures between them so it's just the, all the chords listed out if you would like to have that to go along with you learning the song check the description of this video on how you can purchase the chord sheet okay so ladies and gentlemen hopefully that helped you out and i will definitely 
catch you on the next one. Peace.